Well, I had a little extra time today to rethink my fret cutting jig. If you watch the other video, you'll know that my original jig was just these three pieces of wood, and this is actually the original jig right here. Uh, and what I would do, I would just put those on my fretboard, line my blade up, and make my cuts. Uh, I found that I still didn't have as true a cut as I wanted. My blade would slide out sometimes, things like that. And so what I did was I modified it, and what basically all I did was add a mirror jig right here, and then I left a gap right here. So I used two pieces instead of one. The only reason for that is so I could see my line, so I could cut on the line. Otherwise, it was hard to see the line through the gap. I also added a bottom, of course, to keep it all in line. Now you could build yours, any variation of this. I just thought I would show my version, and then I'll take a piece of scrap right here. Let's say I was going to make a fret right here, and I, of course, would have my whole fretboard marked out if I were doing this for real. Then I'm going to just line up my jig slot there. I'm using a Japanese pool saw. I know some people use coping saws, whatever float your boat I have a coping saw also but for this for some reason I like using the pull saw I you know my technique here is I usually have I just know how many pulls it's gonna take to cut the slot I'm not doing my official count on this particular slot but I don't really have to worry about my blade running off on me and I know I'm lining up every time pull the fretboard out here and so you can see I've got another line there where I was cutting before but right here you can see really pretty decent line I think if you had your fretboard all already marked up with the scale you could scoot pretty fast making those cuts and know that they're all going to be true of course it will only work if you have a non-tapered neck or if you cut your jig if you cut your frets before you taper your neck so if you're a low-tech budget builder like myself and you need a good solid way of cutting your fret slots without fear of marring up your fretboard and just knowing that they're gonna be 90 degrees you might want to consider building your own fret slot cutting jig